Now this year, we've, uh, with our recent plant expansions, we added a, a larger rolling machine to uh, roll the larger uh, storage tanks for fertilizer. Uh, there's just a few uh, companies in the industry that builds these tanks, and we're having a hard time getting them uh, made out of three or four stainless steel. So uh, Larry Argus, owner of Argus Manufacturing, decided to go into the, the dry storage tank business. And this past year, we invested into a rolling machine to roll the tanks plus a seam welder to actually weld the seams of the tanks to give a nice uniform uh, and a good quality weld to the tank. In fertilizer handling equipment, it's always best to use stainless steel. And the manufacturers in the tank business today mainly work in mild steel, then they put coatings on there. For the longevity of the tank and for the cost of the project, it's always been beneficial to use 304 stainless steel. It's a very competitive advantage, especially when you take into consideration the lifespan on a mild steel tank is in the neighborhood of 7 to 12 years, plus during that time they have to, they have to perform maintenance on that tank, which is the sandblasting, priming, and repainting. Once you figure a cost of doing that one time, you basically paid for the upgrade of the stainless steel. So for the longevity of the investment, the 304 stainless steel is the best buy.